Yes, this title is not clickbait. And hear me out. I actually think you might like this more than you think you do. So, Brawl doesn't need to be balanced. I actually think it would benefit for not being balanced. Now, hear me out. I'm not asking for a completely imbalanced game. Because, obviously, it's going to be more fun if every match is close and, you know, not unfair. However, I think that there is um, a way to do the balance better than they're doing it now. So... What we've seen recently, the last three or four patches, is we've seen a lot of nerfs and taking a lot of stuff away. Making everybody's experience kind of on their weapon kind of just worse. I know Gauntlet players are not happy with this new Nair nerf. It's not fun either. I'm not going to lie, I've barely played any Gauntlets because of it. Not like I play a lot of Gauntlets in the first place, but we're just losing a lot of the fun that makes up some of these weapons, right? And I'm just thinking that there's only one reason for this, and it's to balance out Hammer, Axe, and Lance to the best of their ability. Because for the longest time, Hammer, Axe, and Lance were, like, bad, like, unplayable. Did I say Hammer? Because Hammer's actually been good, like, its whole life, as far as I'm aware. Maybe not great, but they don't really know how to nerf hammer and axe without making them bad because now that hammer isn't as good at killing it's like hard to balance that weapon out so instead of trying to bring them up and make them really op really overpowered like they were when they've done it previously and debatably now <clears throat> axe <laughs> uh they're nerfing everything else to make them weapon the weapons better so if you're down here and everything else is up here and if everything else gets nerfed down suddenly you're a better weapon if you're down here if they nerfed stuff so far you can become the best weapon in the game just from everything else around you getting nerfed right um but what i'm saying what i think is what i think would really help this game is not balancing it. I think this game could learn from Melee. So Fox and the, one of the worst characters like Bowser have a huge gap. Like you couldn't even try to play Bowser in tournament with any form of success in Melee. But here we go. Melee has been going on for 20 some years, bro. Uh, probably more. I don't really know how long that game's been out and how long that competitive scene's been thriving. People play one of the same eight characters, dude. It's actually insane. But it kind of makes sense. Hear me out. So, um, Fox is their best character. And having your best character be somebody who takes a lot of skill and is super fun to fight and lose to is really good for you i mean obviously you might not be like wow yay fox i'm so excited to fight fox i mean you're probably not gonna be especially if he's like the best character i mean there he's not always there but you get my point you're more happy than you are running into a jigglypuff right where it's like oh this is gonna take forever all right back to brawl so what this means for brawl is weapons like axe and lance that are super boring to fight against I mean, there were times when I was super excited to fight these, but that was just from an ELO standpoint, because, um, it's just not fun to fight, dude. It's really not, and I know a lot of people who have the same opinion, um, but the problem is, is the balance in this game has, right now has Axe as top three best weapons, when... In all honesty, Axe and Lance shouldn't be good at all, really. Just based off their base design, they're not very uh, rewarding to lose to. So, you're not getting that same effect you do with Fox, where he takes a lot of skill and he's super... You don't really get mad over losing to, right? So, because you know your opponent's skilled, and it's an aggressive character. So, at least the matches go fast, they feel balanced-ish, even if your character's their characters better right you're kind of saying with that yeah that's fine it takes a lot of skill to get there 
Axe and Lance are the opposite. <laughs> They're super easy with super high reward right now. And they kind of do everything. Axe and Lance can kind of kill. I mean, they're not no sword or hammer. Or, heck, even blasters probably kill better than both of them. But, you know, they have the kill potential. Even if you do have to get a little creative. Axe will eventually kill off a D-Light eventually. I reckon to say flipping Lance is worse than killing. Worse at killing than Axe. So you got D-Light to kill on Axe eventually. And if that doesn't hit, end light. It's literally 50-50. That's like super consistent killing. Then they have like really good damage build up. More so Axe has the really good damage build up. The thing about Lance that's so scary and busted about Lance. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been having less problems with Lance since the nerf. It's been seeming less overpowered. But genuinely, I don't know if they nerfed it the way they should have. Because I didn't really feel like I had much of a problem with Nair combos. I mean, obviously I did. So, I mean, Nair is insane. <laughs> But I'm kind of fine with Nair being insane, but getting hit by one side light dare push you in such a bad position. Let's imagine this is the corner stage you get hit. You're like way down here. You're like near the blast zone at white. And then one jump reading is over. <laughs> so it's just like, it's, it, it's surprising they haven't done anything about that. I. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like the weapon would be really bad if they did. Which is what I'm getting at. Because that combo, I struggle against. As somebody who's flipping top 500 in the region. What about everybody else? Diamond is like 0.2% of players, bro. So the get good argument is terrible. Because if everybody got good enough for that, diamond would be gold. <laughs> It, it, you can't really ask that of people. So I'm assuming that since I've had this problem and I I used to have friends who used to struggle with it all the time. They haven't gotten rid of the combo. So I'm assuming it hasn't changed over the last year and a half. I'm assuming lower level players don't like getting zero to death by Lance. It's not fun. <laughs> Which is what I'm trying to get at. Those weapons that are super easy, yet extremely rewarding, that aren't fun to lose to should be like worse like measurably worse um and especially axe and lance because those weapons are forever gonna be top tier i think if you even made those weapons pretty darn bad they'd still be top tier i mean they've been pretty darn bad in the past right so hear me out what this allows if you nerf those two weapons maybe I don't know. We'll just, we'll just leave it at those two. I don't need to start a debate about every weapon that should be nerfed to a certain extent. Because it literally might just be those two. Um, but, and you nerf those two down, suddenly we see less Olgrims, we see less Taroses, we see less Scarlets. Trust me, I know you've been hit a lot by a flipping Scarlet Sig, or tilted at a Taros who hits you with an end sig or a crazy signature that kills you at 40. It's, it's, an, it's an experience, right? But, um, if you get rid of them, they, they're less common unless the person actually wants to play that legend because they think the design is cool. Because right now, what most people do is they swap to it because everybody else is doing it. If you can't beat them, join them, right? So, then they grow up a Lance main. <laughs> Which, to be fair, does have its problems in the future. You do miss out on a lot of skills you should be learning. Because the weapon literally is a wheelchair. It's literally a wheelchair. My number one tip to all Lance players is literally play a different weapon. Not axe. Now we can go on. <laughs> you learn so much. Um, but. If you nerf those weapons down. You can kind of cultivate a more fun losing experience. While making it less easy to just. I'm losing a lot. I'm gonna pull out Taros and win some games. Oh, I pulled out Taros and now I'm plat. I went up 400 elo. No way. There's less of that. And now when you lose, it's to a weapon you feel like more comfortable losing with against. Like, I don't know, losing to like Lucian or something has never felt problematic to me. But you never run into Lucians. And when he was meta for a bit, I was totally fine. Uh you know it's just that type of thing where it's like wow it's more rewarding to lose now right now we're in a 
pretty darn explosive kill meta. I don't know how that's going to change with the uh, map pool being different. Because right now the map pool has a lot bigger maps. So I feel like a lot of the low attack legends are going to struggle. So that means like higher um, damage characters that have consistent killing or explosive killing are going to do better. So characters like Teros, he's consistent killing from his axe and light D lights and stomp, Sayer and whatever. And then his sick kit, bro. If you're on Brawlhaven, which is like the only small map, Bro can kill you at like 20 if he's like at a good position in like 60 from center stage. It's like insane. Like, pretty darn explosive. We're just kind of right there right now. But with the bigger maps, probably less explosive kills, but now we'll be wanting more consistent and I guess later explosive kills. So I guess Axe is still going to be really good. So, I don't know. Because Axe shouldn't be good at a top level because then it's even better at a low level. Same with Lance. Granted, Lance isn't too good right now. We should probably get nerfed even more, funny enough. I don't know, that's my two cents on the topic.